Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. And by the way, this equation is called rational because we are dealing with these algebraic fractions. Now, in order to solve this rational equation, the very first step is to find the least common denominator. So, focus on this these denominators first i want you to look at the coefficients at the bottom over here at the denominators the coefficient is 2 over here coefficient is 5 coefficient is 6 and it is 3 the least common denominator for these 2 5 6 and 3 is simply 30. So far so good. Now I want you to focus on the x variable. This is x power 3, this is x power 2, this is x and this is x power 3. Now I want you to tell me what is the highest degree among these powers. The highest power is x power 3. Always look for the highest power. So x power 3 is the highest degree so that means our least common denominator turns out to be a 30 x power 3. now in our next step i want you to multiply this whatever our least common denominator across the board i want you to just put down 30 x power 3 on the top of the first term 30 x power 3 30 x power 3 and 30 x power 3 on the top of each and every term. Now the next step I want you to just simply look at this one over here. Let's simplify these fractions. 2 goes into 30 how many times? It gives you 15 isn't it? And then this x power 3 and x power 3 they are gone. So simply we got simply we got 15 this 15 times 3 you multiply them out i want you to put down 3 times 15 minus look at this one over here 5 goes into 36 times and this x power 2 and x power 3 3 if you reduce them simplify them you just simply get x now i want you to multiply this 2 times 6x so i want you to write down 2 times 6x and plus finally over here 6 divides into 35 times and if you simplify this x and this x power 3 we simply get x power 2 so I want you to multiply 1 times 5x power 2. I want you to just go ahead and 1 times 5x power 2 equals to, now look at this thing, 3 divides into 30 10 times. You just put down 10. This x power 3 and x power 3, they cancel each other out. So I want you to just simply 7 times 10. So I want you to write down 7 times times 10. So let's go ahead and multiply them out. So 3 times 15 is 45 minus 2 times 6 is 12x. 1 times 5 is plus 5x square equal to 7 times 10 is 70. So on, now let's go ahead and move this 70 on the left hand side. So this simply become 45 minus 12x plus 5x square. When you move this 70 on the left hand side, this simply become negative 70 equal to zero. Let's simplify and rearrange. So we're gonna put down 5x square first. And then I'm gonna put down negative 12x and then minus 25 equal to 0. As you can see this is a quadratic equation and we want to solve for x. So therefore we're going to be up using this quadratic formula as you can see over here on the right hand side where our a value is 5, b value is negative 12 and c value is negative 
25. Let's go ahead and apply those values in this quadratic formula. So this is simply is going to become x equal to minus and b is negative 12 plus or minus b squared. That means negative 12 squared minus 4 times a is 5 and c is negative 25. Everything is divisible by 2 times a which is 5. So far so good. Now simply what we're going to do is we want to simplify all this thing. So that's going to be a negative and negative become positive 12 plus or minus square root and then inside this square root negative 12 square is simply positive 144 over here when you multiply these quantities that's going to give you plus 500 divided by 2 times 5 is 10. Let's simplify a little more so 12 plus minus when you add them that's going to give you 644 divided by 10. Now I want you to just simply focus on this radical part 644. So let's simplify this radical square root of 644. So we can factor this one out. 644 could be written as 4 times 161 and I can just simply split them. I'm going to write down with, into two separate square roots like this way. In the first square root, square root of 4 is simply just 2. 2 times this is going to be written as 161. So that means I can write this radical as 12 plus minus 2 times square root of 161 and I want you to split this denominator 10 into two parts like this one is equal to x. Now the next step is I want you to just split this one along these positive and negative sign. And before we do that one I want you to just simplify so x could be written as once again so this could be written as 6 over 5 plus or minus 2 and 10 could be written as 1 fifth so square root of 161 divided by 5 so thus once again as we split along these positive and negative signs we're going to have a 6 over 5 plus square root of 161 divided by 5 and the other solution is x equal to 6 over 5 minus square root of 161 divided by 5. And these are our two solutions. So thus our solution set turns out to be a 6 over 5 plus square root of 161 divided by 5 first with the plus sign and the other one with the negative sign in between them. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.